2019 Honda Accord Hybrid Electric Compressor. So performing the recovery with the new R1234YF. Taking out the refrigerant, uh, I have it into a vacuum, 23, 24. Let's get a little lower, then it has to hold. Possible leak, 2019 Honda. We might have a pattern problem here. We'll find out. grams out. Factory specification is 390 to 325 so we're already low and we're 2019. So what I find is right at the dryer where the dryer sock goes in this oil right here. So we got refrigerant oil right at the seam right here. We also have a buildup of refrigerant oil right here right at the seam on um, this 2019. So let's see if I get many more like this and they turn into pattern problems and future failures later on of burnt up compressors. It's always nice to get to work on vehicles that are only a couple months old. So this is set up. Okay, actually I even got it lower than that. It's reading uh, 900 microns down in vacuum through the gauges right now with the recovery unit off. I have my port right on top of the filter. You can see the filter in there. I'm actually touching above the evaporator where the filter inlet is to take my temperature measurement of the air going in and air going out to get your delta T across your evaporator. And I'm holding pretty good. Okay, so I'll charge it up with nitrogen. I'll put the dry nitrogen into the system because it's in the vacuum. You never want to release, and I stress this in many of my videos, do not open up your refrigerant lines after you just recovered it. You're in a vacuum and you're going to draw in moist air. Always back it up with like one or two PSI of dry nitrogen and then break your fittings. You'd rather have dry nitrogen coming out of your fitting than wet moist air being sucked into your refrigerant system, especially with ester oil on an electric compressor. If you just seen my last video that I just made earlier this afternoon for my body shop screw up, uh, you'll know exactly what I mean. Wait for part two of this video and we'll get the completion of this. Oh, another thing. On this body shop, we are doing an immediate removal and replacement of the condenser. These lines will not be exposed to the atmosphere because as soon as they crack these lines off, the condenser is coming off and the brand new one's going right back on and I'm going right on the vacuum pump.